Dawson Rider the team. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Koshiji Voyager from Uchu Sentai Q Ranger. I apologize, this review is late. My uh, HLJ package basically got held hostage by the post office, but it's here now. So this guy is basically like a little mini Voyager. I mean, I guess he, he's actually bigger than like uh, Kajiki and Chameleon, I think. Well, he is, not just I think, I mean he is. But like he kind of, his existence kind of reminds me of like mini Tira. Um, except it's a little bit different because, you know, he's like a little... Mecha or Zord that kind of reminds me of the way Mini Zord worked um, in terms of he doesn't full on become like, you know, a different arm or leg or something, but he sort of adds an armor to it in a way. Um, but he reminds me of Mini Tier and just the fact that he's sort of an offshoot of, you know, Red's main Mecha, but he's not like a little creature that transforms into a morpher. Anyway, but so here he is on his own. This is what he does on his own as B's little lion. And I do like the design of him and I think he's, he's kind of an adorable little thing in the show. I think the toy isn't as cool as I thought it was going to be, like, I just don't like it quite as much as I thought I was going to. Like, not that I hate it, it's just, something about it is weird. I think, like, let's take a look at the eyes, first of all. He has these really weird hypnotizy eyes, which I think I remember noticing in the show as well, but, like, when I first saw initial pictures and stuff, and, like, when he's bouncing around on the show, you don't notice it until you look at it, but that looks kind of weird. But mainly just, the way his body is is so blocky and basic. Like, it's just, like, basic red plastic, and... You know, it's not like it's missing that much from the show, but just something about the design feels really weird and toyetic, I guess. Like, it's not terrible, and I still, like, like him sitting there on the side of my little Q-Ranger display, but it just, I don't enjoy him quite as much as I thought I would. You can open his little mouth there, which, spoiler, alerts the little face, but you can sort of try to, you know control it so that it looks more like a op little open mouth, like he's growling or something. Um, he does come with the Q-Tom, as you can see here, which is a little golden version, a uh, special edition kind of of um, Red's main one. I mean, it is different, but they're both lions, but it's pretty good looking. There was something about this one that the shine seemed extra, like, shiny on the, the globe when I got it out there, but could have just been me. But it's a little bit different than the standard ones because it is gold. Uh, that's, that's that. I'll show the little light-up thing when I put it with a Kirino instead of doing my little flashlight thing. However, we will do, uh, these sounds in the changer. You just heard it hitting against the table there. So I believe it's on. The last time I said that it wasn't, but let's hope I actually pulled it off this time and wasn't an idiot. Damn it! I thought for sure this time, guys, that... There we go. Okay. All right. All right. So that's that. Okay, now to combine him with other things, it's honestly really, really simple. So you're going to need to leave this off. Um, basically, just bring in your original recipe, Shishi Voyager, with all of the standard Qtama on it for Qreno's default formation. Although you could use any of them, this is just like the official version. Um, so to transform it, you're going to actually just take this part off, and you're going to have somewhere to put that, so don't worry about that. Um, pull his faceplate off. Pull it out, there we go. And then separate these two. Now this one is going to go on the back here. Okay, so you'll see here that these two little peg holes will correspond to the ones on the inside, and it kind of like cups around the bottom here, so. It's a little bit, not confusing, but just a little bit different because there's a bunch of little pegs and holes, and usually it's just like flat surface against flat surface, and this one just kind of snaps on there. Okay, now for this one, you just fold this forward, and then you're basically gonna put it on here by snapping these onto here, like so. There we go, just make sure that's on. And then put his new face on here. Oh, and the storage of this, this can go right here. And there you don't have just that sticking around. Oh, and let's not forget to put that on there. There we go. All right, so there you have it. Um, basically combined to make Super Shishi Voyager, which I think looks pretty cool. Um, 
I think it, it really, it works well, it looks really neat. I don't think I would display it like this just because it leaves these sort of, you know, bits hanging around, but I think it looks pretty cool. I think the white accents on it accentuate it, and it's neat to sort of have an upgraded version of that. So that's pretty neat. Okay, so to transform it into its mecha formation, it's it's really, really simple, honestly. I, I believe you can leave this here. It's going to end up here regardless. I don't think that there's anything wrong with that. Now, all you're going to do is take this piece off. I'm going to take this off in the meantime, but I think you can still store it there. I mean, I know you can. I just, I feel like it's going to fall off if I leave it. Now, basically just straighten this out, and you're going to want to put all of his limbs back on. So that's a thing. So make sure you have those. I was gonna say, I can't imagine a scenario where you wouldn't have those, but I guess if you, no, you couldn't. I mean, I guess if you somehow bought a used Shishi Voyager individually, I was thinking about how you could buy the Qtama individually via various means, um, but I don't know what I was going on about. Anyway, basically put his, his limbs back on. There we go. Okay, now for this, you're going to snap this on here, and it's going to become like a cannon. And then, you can still store this underneath here. It's just, it's going to create a little bit of problems, like very little bit, like, so you pull this up and it'll bounce off against that a little bit, but at least like that's stored, so you don't have to worry about just having this random lion head you could lose. And then just twist this like you would normally and open up his head mouth. And there you have it. So that also is pretty neat. I think it looks a little bit better in the show, which is true of like, 97% of mecha. I mean, I actually don't know of any that look better than the show, but there's some that look closer to it. But I do dig the concept of it, like the whole cannon, and again, the the white on the helmet accentuates it nicely and sort of goes with, with uh, Shishi Red's theme. So that's kind of cool, but I just feel like this looks a little fatter. Like the head, I, I think it does in general in regular Kirano as well, but this one looks fatter specifically. So, I don't know. It just looks a little off to me. It is kind of neat that we're getting something like this, just because I can't even remember the last time a mecha got a power-up. I think the last time was what, Lost Galaxy or Ginga Man, or like the team-up when they gave the Omega Megazord the, the power-up. Like, I'm, I might be forgetting something, but I think that's the last one I can remember. Okay, so he, here's the light-up. So obviously it's not going to change the sounds or anything. But, you know, you get the little, the little silhouette of the dock in there. Alright, we got the picture. We've seen this before. But yeah, that's pretty much about the it for this guy. I think he's an overall okay purchase. Like I said, I, I ended up not liking him quite as much as I thought I would. Um, but he functions in a neat way with QNO that's really simple to do and adds a little bit something different to it. And he's not that expensive, so if you really like him or want to complete your collection, you know, I really wouldn't deter you from it. But I just didn't end up liking him as much as I thought I would, even though I, I think he's pretty adorable in the show. Hypnotic weird eyes aside. Anyway, that's about it. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe. It's Dawson Ryder, signing out.